This is Samsung One UI 7 and it has some really, really nice things, guys. Besides the redesign always on with this box now that I kind of like. Through the introduction of the new big folders that you can apparently shrink and unshrink without the need of you going to a shrink, right? Tons of other features, just go and watch this video here, but in this video in particular, I want to speak about something that, yeah, that really comes from Android 15, guys. Well, let me show you. This is the eBay. When I click here, I can see that apparently this app consumes 172 megabytes. But for this app, down below, I have the miraculous function to archive this app, something that has been available for iOS users for many, many years. Okay, not so many, but at least four years. So when I click here, archive, guys, boom, you can see that I archive this application and yep, also the icon changed, which means this app is no longer available on my phone. And yep, how do I know this? Well, you can see the storage that it's using right now is only 2.66 megabytes. And the good thing is, guys, I can press restore or even do it from here, right? Restore eBay from Google Play Store. When I hit restore, my phone will actually go and re-download this application from the Google Play Store, which is really, really great because I have so many apps on my phone and I'm not really joking you, I can just keep going like forever. Oh, and, and by the way, did I tell you that we have now finally a vertical app drawer in One UI 7. And it's really weird because to activate it, you need to go to sort and then just click alphabetical order. But if you wanna go <laughs> like the standard One UI way, well, yeah, here you have the horizontal one. Anyway, guys, this is really a cool feature. And um, if I now go back to my eBay application in the store, it's using 172 megabytes. But the good thing about this is that this doesn't really delete your data. And this is important, right? Which means all your accounts, anything else, personal data will be stored on your phone, but just the app base will be deleted. And by the way, for this setting to work, you need to have the manage app if a new stole, because when I disable this, boom, the archive function is gone. What is still sad is that it doesn't really work on all the apps, but for example, the Kindle app. The Kindle app right now consumes 333 megabytes and I just only have 72 megabytes of my own data, right? So what I can do with this app, and I'm gonna do this by the way, I'm gonna click archive, boom. And now, guys, this will shrink down the usage of this application. So now that the Kindle app is archived, it will only consume 72 megabytes. And those are books that I loaded myself. So you just pretty much get the idea. Now, guys, if you do this on games, you need to know that once you archive them, the unarchiving will mean that you need to re-download like tons of gigabytes of data and by the way it doesn't really work on all the apps that I have which is kind of sad but let's just test it on a few more apps so does it work on Facebook so let's just click here all right yeah sadly not it really doesn't work on all the apps that I have but it works on X how much data is my X app using 294 megabytes guys so let me just show you I want to demonstrate that this is a real thing so this is my X right like a lot of things here one UI whatever okay so I'm gonna click here, click here, go down, boom. I'm gonna archive that up, all right? And once I archive this, and I'm gonna show you one more time, click here. Well, now it only takes 70 megabytes of my data. Now, guys, let's try to restore this up and see if my account is still gonna be there because how the hell then I'm gonna be able to get all the latest One UI 7 news because Twitter is all about One UI right now. Apparently, if you are following the right people or the wrong people, it really depends. Anyway, now, Again, the download happens from the Google Play Store. Now you can see it has been restored, so I'm gonna open it. What? What? All right, guys, really crazy. I had to log in, right? Anyway, we will just take this as a win. I just hope that they're gonna make it better, but I wanted to show you a real example. So it will keep your data, right? But have in mind that if you do it with X, you need to re-login again. Anyway, big news because finally One UI 7 is starting to show some nice and good Android 15 power. And take a look, this is the Xiaomi 15, guys. Android 15 out of the box, right? So let me just click on X here. I'm gonna go here and what? No archiving, right? See, so the One UI 7 apparently has archiving. My Chinese Xiaomi 15 with the Hyper OS version 2, no archiving. Xiaomi, update this and fix it. Guys, I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. If that's the case, just go and watch some of my older videos. Camera reviews, performance reviews. I mean, yeah, 
just go and watch. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Here's the overrun. Bye.